nervous system. Nervous system, it is one of the system which is present in human being. There are many type of nervous system. For example, we have circulatory system, we have digestive system, we have respiratory system, we have reproductive system, we have nervous system also. All the systems, they are interconnected with each other. So let us study what is the function of nervous system. Already we have studied in last video, the structural and functional unit of nervous system is called as a neuron, which is also called as a nerve cell. First function, it helps all the parts of the body to communicate with each other. All the systems, they are interconnected to each other, whereas the nerves or the neurons, they are also spread to each and every parts of the body. It is a complex collection of nerves and specialized cells called as or known as neuron. So neuron it is the basic or the structural and functional unit of nervous system. It also reacts to changes both outside and inside for example, whenever we touch any hot object, immediately we withdraw our hand. The phenomenon is called as reflex action. We have the nerves which are spread throughout the body. And because of nervous system, we just remove our hand. The phenomenon is called as reflex action. It uses both electrical and chemical means to send receive messages. It uses both electrical signal as electrical impulses they are spread from brain and spinal cord to different parts of the body and from different parts of the body towards the spinal cord and brain. It also send the chemical means to send and receive the messages. The signals they are also sent in the form of chemical for example acetylcholine which send the signal to each and every parts of the body. Now let us study the different parts of nervous system. The nervous system is divided into three parts. So what are these three parts? The first is called as Central nervous system, which is also called as CNS. Your second one, peripheral nervous system, which is also called as PNS, and the third is called as autonomic nervous system, which is also called as ANS. Central nervous system, peripheral nervous system. Autonomic nervous system. CNS, PNS, and ALS. Central nervous system, again, it consists of brain and spinal cord. Whereas, peripheral nervous system consists of cranial nerves and spinal cord. Nerves. What do you mean by cranial nerves and spinal nerves? So, both this is a brain and this is spinal cord. So, brain and spinal cord, which are present here, brain and spinal cord, they are coming under central nervous system and the nerves arising from the brain are called as cranial nerves and the nerves arising from spinal cord are called as spinal nerves. So these two are coming in peripheral nervous system. Why it is called as peripheral nervous system? Because these nerves they are going towards the periphery. Why it is called as central nervous system? Because brain and spinal cord they are coming to the center of the body. And autonomic nervous system it consists of sympathetic nervous 
divided into two parts olfactory bulb and olfactory tract this particular area it is related with a sense of smell cerebrum it is the second part it is divided into two equal parts right and left cerebral hemisphere and diencephalon is divided into three parts epithalamus thalamus and hypothalamus epimes above means the part which is present above the thalamus is epithalamus thalamus and hypothalamus means hypo means below the part which is present below thalamus is called as hypothalamus 